Well, as I say, finally, 45 minutes later. Whew, I am sweating. I can smell the bass. Might be over egging myself there, but I can smell them. These rock formations look great, but they're, uh, they're a bit of a pain to walk on. Almost like sheets of paper on top of each other. Check that out for a crag. Who brought my climbing shoes down? Hello and welcome to the Slippy Limits video. We are uh, hopefully trying to catch a bass. It is uh, about half ten. Just driven five hours and walked an hour, so uh, I'm pretty uh, pretty beat at the moment, but um, upbeat at the same time. The forecast today was for uh, no wind and uh, overcast skies. Well, we've got the overcast skies, but it's pretty windy, which is why I'm sitting down here to try and hunker out of it for the uh, for the wind noise on the camera. The area I'm fishing is uh, I've never been here before. Thought I'd come and wreck you a few spa uh, few places, three bays that I can fish. I've started at the furthest bay and I'm going to work my way back along to the uh, top end of the bay and then there's a footpath up to where my car is which is again is another sort of 45 minute walk. As per my last lure fishing video uh, I really like exploring new places and, and trying out new things so fingers crossed we can find the fish. I'm going to start with um, some top water and then work my way down down the water column basically shallow diving lures and then maybe a metal metal might be the key today with this wind just to uh cover some water and find where the fish might be lurking so let's get to it hopefully we'll get amongst the fish Oh, this bit looks canny. I'm just going to climb down here and wade onto this rock. Oh, I smell the seaweed. Oh, that is a deep pulley. No. I don't want to slip down there. Nothing here on the next. Look how good this ground is. Min as the tide washes over this. Uh, I've just beezed all the way along the uh, the shoreline here to the far end of the bay. I'm gonna work my way back along it. But uh this little bay here and the headland looks really good. Cast for absolute miles <laughs> with a tailwind as it is. I got nothing on the uh, on the patch, so I'm gonna go subsurface with the Apia Ally Dior or Ailed Dior. I can never pronounce it, but it's a 16 gram shallow diver in uh, sexy pearl color. It has a really slow what well a, a wobble like this. You can see the color change there. It doesn't have a tail wobble or roll. Just uh, yeah, wobble side to side.
boy, it is really shallow around here. Oh, can't get this lure and the only dives, well, about 30 centimetres. I keep hitting structure. I'm glad I got that back. I found some deeper water here, I've just been working my way along the beach casting, changing up lures and things but no hit yet I'm gonna make my way around to a, to a headland and maybe try fishing some really deep water the tides are absolutely tiny today, this is the bottom of, of the fallen tide so they're pretty much in equilibrium this morning this afternoon at high tide and then from then the uh, the tides start rising in terms of the uh, size of the tides and for me <coughs> that's when I find the, uh, the fishing's best for bass anyway so maybe deeper water is the, uh, the way to go so I've got around uh, well the inside of a headland so the wind's on my back for a while and Taking off my uh, Apia Lua. They're going to try and pronounce the name again. And I'm tying on. It seems a bit nuts actually. It's a 10 gram fish uh, crazy eel. Um, seems small for a bass lure, but I caught a 14 pounder on this a, a few weeks ago, so aye. I'm going to give it a try here, now we're in deeper water Fish on Not a big one Don't know what it is But it's a fish And that was on the second cast of the crazy eel Oh, it's a little pollock There it goes, absolutely deadly these things Oop. There we go again On the pause that time Ah, they're just hitting it on the paws, nipping out the tail, and then uh, if I pause, then they'll uh, they'll take it. Not a good sign for uh, for bass fishing, mind. Nice fish. This uh, ground is nuts. This terrain. You just walk along what you think's a solid headland, and then you hit a big fissure like this easy to get cut off on, uh, on the rising tide I think if you didn't know your way around like me I guess
got a fish! <laughs> it's obviously just a... Whoa. I couldn't say it's obviously just a little pollock, but it just woke up there. It is just a little pollock. Well, this is turning into a pollock fishing trip, not a bass fishing trip. That is the biggest of the day. Let's get it back. The wind's actually spun round now. Before it was blowing on shore, and now it's uh, coming from my right, so it's blowing cross shore. Just a little breeze, it's a little bit more manageable now. Gonna have a few more casts here and then make a move to the next bay. Got his hung up in the side. Oh. Felt like a better fish. My heart was going a little bit because I uh, <laughs> thought it might have been a bass, but uh, just taking it straight into the kelp there. Lost me leader, so uh, let's uh, retie and um, move on to the next spot. Gotta have a cast here. So all this bit of structure and there's even some tide moving past the top. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna say pick a line through the structure there, but I've just cast over it, so. Smells fishy. As uh, soon as the lure touches the water, that happens. I think, although it looks really fishy, it's probably time to uh, try a different spot. Total ankle breaking territory this, I mean look at this. It's got one flat bit of rock to stand on. Well I made it to the second bay, third bay sorry. Um, no one told us it was a total mission. It's uh, just been up and down two hills and through a jungle, pretty much. I didn't bother putting the camera on because uh, I was wading up to here and uh, you wouldn't have seen much. But <coughs> I think I've been rewarded at the end here. Look at this, this looks cracking. Got the current running straight through here. I think what we're going to do is move around a bit more. We've got a lot of uh, ground to cover here, so uh, got to keep moving.
Finally. Just saw a swirl and then I looked at the camera and then uh, I took it when I paused. Twelve hours later. Not a monster, but it's exactly what we're after today. Probably about 50 centimeters. There's a lure out there. Feels like it's been a long time coming, that's for sure. Bit of a bruiser this one, I don't know if he's been caught before. It's... Yeah, maybe not. Yes! Finally! It's half five. Got about four o'clock this morning. <laughs> I finally, finally got a bass. I don't know what to say. On top water as well. Gave itself away. As usual. I don't know whether it was that fish that had uh, swiped for it. Just saw a big swirl behind the uh, the patch. I'd actually looked away and uh, got distracted, and then uh, looked at the camera, and it po and I paused, and then looked back round and wallop, it was on. Yes, not massive, but I'll take it. <clears throat> Just find my way back. I know the car's closer than, uh, than where I started fishing, but. Find a way to the path. So now we're back to the car now, and then and drink lots of water from the cool box, and then uh, boom. Well, ten to seven. I'm back in the car. It's uh, it's been a day, that's for sure. Um, wish I had a step. I can count how many steps I've taken, but I think I've probably walked about six and a half miles or so as the crow flies and the terrain is it's, it doesn't sound much it's not really but the terrain is unrelenting you know constantly balancing and moving around but it's uh that's what makes the day good i guess especially ha having a fish at the right at the end it's a shame there weren't any more got actually got a burger in my cool box i might co cook that up before i head back and then uh, just have a slow meander back for another five hours five and a half um Hope you enjoyed the video and really enjoyed the day despite the lack of bass. Those po little pollock kind of kept us entertained for a little bit and uh, having a bass at the end, eat the uh, top water right on my feet was uh, was great. Uh, what a relief. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to drink loads of water now because I'm parched and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Tight lines. Oh, I can't wait for these. This is the way to finish off a shit day's fishing. A couple of Wagyu burgers. Or Wagyu. I don't know what you call them. Oh. <laughs>